Okay, so the next step, we've prepped our fiber cable. Notice the aramid yarn is ready to be tied down inside the fiber cabinet once we get to that point. We need to determine how much length do we need on these uh, strands of fiber inside of our tray so that we have a neat environment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around the tray at least one time and notice here I'm leaving myself a little bit of extra slack in case the first splice doesn't work out we could always have room to strip it and go for uh, splice number two or even three if need be. So right here there's plenty of slack. You can see in the middle is where it's going to get fused. So we could cut this off down here and go ahead and strip what we need. Now on the uh, tight buffer you only want to go about uh, half inch, three quarter inch at a time. Otherwise it could possibly break the, uh, break the glass. Notice the acrylic layer is still on here. That's a protective layer that shrouds the glass from chemical or uh, uh, water as well as the gel filled. Or it acts much like the gel in a outside plant cable. Okay, so we've uh, we stripped and prepped this one and we know that the strip length on it. We're going to do the same thing with the outside plant 250 micron fiber. The tight buffered fiber is 900 micron. Notice the difference in size. Now if I were to fan this out like I did with the other uh, loose tube, it would go into a, it would turn into a 900 micron uh, concentric shroud that would help protect it. So I'm going to I'm going to loop around on this one here. And again, if I have enough length, I'm going to go ahead and go around twice on the on the thinner fiber. And it looks like I do. So all I really need to do is strip the end of this.